Today I just want to take you through a few of my aquascapes, they're high-tech aquascapes, starting with this ADA 60P, 60 by 30 by 36. We've got guppies, we've got Rotala Colorada in the background, and moss, also dwarf hair grass in the foreground. It's been a few weeks, but the Rotala Colorado is now starting to establish itself in the background of the aquarium. We saw the purling there as I'm injecting CO2 into this aquarium. The aquascape is stocked with guppies, Siamese algae and cherry shrimp. The guppies have been doing what they do and multiplying. I've got, I reckon, in excess of 50 guppies in this 60 centimetre aquarium. But I've got good filtration, which is ensuring they're nice and healthy. Some interesting colours, I mean, they're nothing too special. But as they breed, we're seeing some interesting varieties come out. I have a dwarf hair grass carpet which is starting to spread out in the foreground of the aquarium looking quite natural. Next aquarium is the 90 centimeter high-tech aquarium of java fern, crips, moss, anubias, tiger barbs, I'm really impressed by the size of this Cryptocoryne Wender TI. It just keeps growing and expanding. It takes time to establish, but then it's really worth it. We see here we've got wood with moss, uh, with rock and nubius going up the right hand side. A small variety of anubius here on the driftwood. Again, dwarf hair grass in the foreground mixed in with some moss, giving a nice natural effect. Just peeking through in the background, we have some micranthum, micranthomoides, which is starting to take hold there, and that will grow up and fill in the background of the aquascape. And I guess you could say the focal point of the aquarium is this large java fern growing on top of the driftwood, which really attracts the eye. My final aquascape is this 120 centimetre, four foot aquarium. And it's got a bit of a mixture of plants here. We have cherry shrimp, quite a lot. They really are breeding well. There must be hundreds in this tank. And they're just eating, I guess, leftover fish food. And you can see there's a little bit of algae on the rock, so they like to graze on that all day. But really not giving them any special attention. They keep breeding. But ember tetras, swimming around there. We've got cardinal tetras, white cloud minnows, Low light tetras there and some harlequin rasboras too. And the white clouds are really getting some good size on them, but no breeding yet. Staragyne repens in the background, looking healthy. And we've got an Echinodorus mini species there and Altananthra renekii growing in the foreground. 